I, I don't think marketing um, folks are thinking about it the way you do in terms of that they're really telling stories. And, and what I realized early on, because I started talking, when I first started speaking with audiences, it was live well before Zoom uh, era. And I was interacting uh, on an educational level and people had never even heard of CBD. I'd have a hundred people in the room and I'd ask for hands who's ever heard of this thing called CBD. Nobody had ever heard of this. This was, you know, back 15, 16 years ago. There's a desperate want and a need for information. And what I realized was that more as much as, much as the science is important, I don't necessarily think that that is what causes change in folks' minds, that this is where I think we connected and I was like, oh, there's this Gregory Fry telling story, talking about this from a storytelling perspective. Why is it hard to tell stories about cannabis, including for cannabis marketing? And, and maybe we've already yeah. answered a lot of those. I questions. think I think there, there's 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 a lot more to discuss with, around that question. I, I've been thinking about this a lot lately and that, you know, when working our way toward legalization involved changing hearts and minds. I mean, that that was the way. You know, politicians, leaders, they don't listen to, to scientific data. People listen to stories, they get inspired, and they put pressure on the, on the political leaders to uh, uh, make change. And, 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 but so the operators now have forgotten that. They've forgotten that just because we got to legalization, that doesn't mean that it, the need to change hearts and minds around this stops. The reality is the majority of human beings do not have a relationship with cannabis. And I think there's a cannabis product for everyone, whether it's a topical, uh, a capsule, or putting like a THCA tincture on their salad or whatever. There's so many different applications and, and, and cannabis marketers have, have really dropped the ball there just trying to market to anybody who smokes weed that doesn't make any sense. And, and, and you know, going even further there, you know, I just mentioned the majority, the majority of people who don't have a relationship with cannabis yet, and the people who do, a lot of them, um, you know, could probably greatly benefit by refining or enhancing their cannabis regimens or, or bringing more mindfulness to how they approach it. Because it's not exactly something you learn at school, but you know, for whatever purposes somebody's using it, um, I, I think. I think that's maybe a whole other conversation we get into around personal use and, and all that. But, you know, when you think about it like this, how uh, in the States, you know, markets usually go from medical and then they bring on adult use and attention around a medical declines, which is a really big deal because now what are we saying? We're expecting like people just to, like walk in, grab a cannabis product and figure it out for themselves. That's, that's, that doesn't work. We, if anything, we should be putting more attention on, on medical, which is another area of storytelling that needs to happen. And that, and operators are a big part of this. 